Adventures, where we're going to show you our journey from going from a 3,000 square foot house down to a fifth wheel camper. Yes, that's right. We made the decision to move into a camper trailer, travel the country, and see the world with our kids. So, with today's video, I present to you none other than changing a light. Um, if you look around, you'll see that we have already made the changes. Most of all our lighting fixtures in here. Um, okay, so we're changing the, all the actual 12 volt bulbs in the camper out to these 12 volt LED wings that I've been calling them. I don't actually know what model these are. Uh, we found a couple of them that were the previous owners had left in here that worked real well. Um, then we ordered a box off of Amazon. Yeah, I'll put a link in the video below down in the comments so you guys can check it out. And, you know, if you like them, go pick some up. Use that affiliate link. Maybe you know it helps give us a little kickback. It won't cost you a dime extra. But I'm changing out all these types of bulbs right here. As you can see where the 12 volt incandescents were getting really, really hot and marring those up and basically melting them. These LEDs are so much better. They just, they push right in. Boom. Install done. Just like that. Cause I mean, most y'all's campers probably have these same standard stupid lights. <laughs> If I can get this cover off here, it'd be great. There we go. So yeah, this is your standard 12 volt incandescent light. Uh, hopefully this don't mess the video up when I turn this on. I'll cover this other side up so you can't really see it. Oh, hey, I'll hit that switch. Yeah, you see it's got that ugly yellow light there. Then you come over here to this one. That's not even working there. Oh, there we go. That's that nice, pretty white. You can you can see the difference from here between how much is lit up. Um, we have changed from the old bulbs to these new LED wings, um, which I'm sure we'll show you in another video, or maybe it's in the same video. I don't know anymore. But uh, this time we're going to change up this light. It's pretty much right above my head because it's got some old corn cob style lights in it. Not that one, honey. There we go. <laughs> it's got some old corn cob style light bulbs in it that I don't like. So I'm going to make it disappear. And I'm going to change it out with this one here. Just your standard 12 volt RV light. Which I've taken all of these bulbs here out. You can see, I'm not sure what these bulbs are called. I know you can't really see it too well here, but there's a couple little fine filaments right here on either end on the sides that make the contact inside the light fixture. But we're just gonna make those poof be gone into the trash. And once again, we're gonna change up with these LED wings. And again, I don't know what these things are actually called. There's your pins on the front and back. I will drop a link in the description below and you guys can go pick them up yourself. Uh, they weren't much, I think it was like 14 bucks, 15 bucks for a pack of 20 on Amazon. So, and that pack of 20 has literally changed out. I'm gonna say 95% of our lights in here only because it didn't get all of them, but it didn't need it to get all of them because we had a few that were already integrated LEDs. And then of course we bought the new disc lights for the living room slide, which are also integrated LEDs. And, just for everybody out there wanting to know, integrate, all integrated LED means is instead of having to change out a bulb or a wing or whatever like this, the LEDs are already pre-built into it and it comes with its own driver and stuff like that. And the LEDs are already pre-built in. Um, most of your modern lighting is like that for houses and for campers and even for like industrial and commercial businesses. So yeah, here we go, let's change out a light. These are those corn cob style bulbs I was telling you about. I don't like them. You gotta like push them in and twist. I mean, they're not difficult per se. 
I'm just an electrician by trade and I want all my lights to be the same in here to have all the same coloring. So I'm gonna make these go away and change out to this new one. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with this one. It's, you know, a really good light overall. I just, it don't match the rest of it. And I'm way too particular to not have these match. And since I've actually taken this light down once before, I only have like two screws holding it up. Normally there's about four to eight. But I only needed two to hold it up there, so I need a little bit of light to work by. As you can see, I've already changed out these wire nuts. They were the old crimp style. I like wire nuts because I like being able to work on things. And being an electrician, I know how to work on electrical safely enough. Now, I will go ahead and tell y'all, we did not unplug from shore power, as you can obviously see, because we had the lights on. I did not disconnect any of the batteries, which again, you can see, because we had the lights on. I'm just going to disconnect this here. Take that one down and then we put the old one up right there where it was at. Also guys, be careful when you're doing this. A lot of this wire in here is strained wire instead of solid wire, um, which is honestly more efficient for carrying your electricity and your amperage. That being said though, with stranded wire, some of the, especially the finer strands do tend to kind of like bend out and try to get behind your wire nut. Do, do everything you can to make sure all those strands get inside the wire nut. Or if you're crimping, make sure they all get inside the crimp. You don't want just a random loose strand out here because a random loose strand of wire is actually more likely to cause an electrical fire than like a wire nut coming loose. Just because that one strain looks like an arc and you'll never know what's happening. Aside from maybe like a funny smell. But I've seen it happen a blue million times. Just trying to let you guys be safer than some of the people I've seen out there. Now the real question is, do I want to orient this with the rest of the lights in here? Or do I want to make it go like this since it's right here in front of all these cabinets? And the air duct. That is a great question. You know, I think I kind of like it like this. What do you think, hon? Whatever floats your boat, honey. Yeah, I think I kind of like it like that. I wish it didn't have so many holes up here already, but, you know. That's what Crack Spackle's for. That's a true story. And as you can see, I'm just going to, I'm holding this up here. Um, and this is a preferential thing for y'all. I make sure my wire nuts are actually inside the fixture itself and not inside the ceiling just because A, I feel like it's a little bit safer. B, if I need to work on it, I don't have to go pulling wires from the ceiling. I can just use what's there. It's thundering outside. It is thundering outside. We got some storms coming out, I think. Our uh, local news lady, Daniel Breezy, uh, keeps sending updates to my wife's phone and telling us there's lightning in our area. Which, hey, that's cool. We like lightning and the thunderstorms. Also, to let you guys know, we have officially got a Discord channel going now. Woo! Um, we're going to have all kinds of things in there. Tips, tricks for RV living. Uh, challenges with RV living with kids. And then we're just going to have some off-topic channels, too, where you can sit there and talk about whatever and hang out with us and, you know, spend some time with us and get to know us. And we can get to know you guys. And we can build an awesome community that literally spans the entirety of the country and even Canada and maybe, you know, other places, too. I mean, I've never really been to Mexico, but why not? Let's give it a shot, right? We get this house on wheels. We can take it with us anywhere. Um, so, yeah, that's the installation of my light. I just need to slap the covers on and fire it up make sure it works which i can go ahead and fire it up real quick this is our entry light switches down below the so stairs switches below the stairs you see where these have been sitting for so long and got so hot from time to time a lot of these connections have gotten loose so i had to adjust these wings and make sure they fit right to have both lights come on but there we have both lights working um you know it actually does look a lot better that way because 
it lights this whole area up right here. Like I, I watched it visibly get at least 12 percent lighter in here when I turned it like that. Now I've got to find the uh, cover for it. I think there's a couple covers laying in the bunk room. Is there ain't any over there? Uh, I put them in the bedroom. I think. Oh, did you? It would help if I wasn't staring directly at the lights and you can actually see after looking away from the lights, but I cannot see because I'm blinded by the light. No censor is YouTube. I sang that song. I didn't play it off of nobody's restricted playlist. Hey, I got some covers. I got, yeah, we got some covers. Woo! Yeah! I think it's right. Yeah, they're right. Like you see me do before already, these things just pop in and then slide back or slide to center to lock them in place. Just like that. Ow! Sorry, guys, I kicked the door. That hurt. <laughs> the bad part is, I kicked it with my heel and it hurt my toe. Blame that one. So, anyways, yeah, there's the uh, the change out of an LED light to a new LED light. Um, I've got a couple more lights back here in the master bedroom in the bunk or in the master bed slide that I need to screw up real quick. Um, so, I'll take you guys in there with me to watch me screw those up real quick, and then I think we'll call it a day for today. light switch for these lights because I keep right when you walk in to our bedroom from the hall you know where you would normally have a light switch to switch light on and off that's where our slide in and out is so I keep trying to bring the slide in or out instead of flipping the light on because there's not an actual light switch in here got them all we're missing one obviously i had the light i don't have the bulbs for it so i guess we're gonna order some more bulbs at some point um but overall yeah this has been changing out some lights with the rugrat wild crew um come back next time and see what else we can show you guys and what else we can get into ourselves and if you haven't done so yet make sure to hit that like and subscribe button uh, it definitely helps us out. It helps support our channel. We don't get no money off of it, but it helps us to grow our our um, channel and connect with other RVers out there and connect with other families that are living the RV lifestyle and allows us to have more experiences and share more adventures with you guys. So please like and subscribe us uh, to keep up to date with us. Make sure to turn the notifications on. Hit that little bell. Make it go ding, ding, ding or whatever it does. And um, yeah. Come back, hang out with us again. See you next time. Bye, Bye. guys.